Good morning and welcome to Monday, um, April 6th. So um, we are going to get started. Um, basically, we're just continuing on with all of these different concepts of um, kinematics, which are just study of motion, and specifically looking at all these different formulas. So, so today's lesson is called the baseball play, and that's because the lesson has a little activity that you'll do in the classroom section that center around, centers around a baseball play. Don't worry about it. You really don't need to know that much about baseball um, and we'll get into it. So the first thing we do is start with a review, a little homework check um, to see how much you remember and uh, brownie points if you get the reference. So we've got Emily throwing a water balloon down and um, the balloon is thrown with 8.75 meters per second. How long does Ross have to move out of the way? Well, since it's been thrown, we know that the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.81 meters per second. That's one of the hidden things that really doesn't tell you. So first thing is, we draw a picture. And so that is my picture. Um, I didn't have one on the computer, so I had to hand draw one and import it in. <clears throat> then we write down all of our knowns and our unknowns. So, big question is, how much time does it take? So the things we know, we know the acceleration due to gravity, we know the initial velocity, and it's negative because it's being thrown down. Um, we know the initial height is 42.2 meters, and we know the final height is 1.81 meters. So that means if we subtract these two, we can find out our delta x. So from there, we're looking for time, and we don't have final velocity. So if you look through all of your equations, you probably would have stumbled upon this one, which would have probably been the best choice, <clears throat> given the information you're given. So you start plugging everything in, and it starts to look a little messy because you got all these negatives and you got these halves, but then you kind of sort through it. You get to a problem. You have t squared and you have t. You cannot combine those. Algebraically, you cannot combine those. So what do you have to do? Oof. You have to put everything over to the same side. So the problem is, once you plug all that in, you end up with a quadratic function. <clears throat> and there's only two ways to solve a quadratic function. One, you have to factor it. Good luck factoring that one. Or you have to use the quadratic equation. We all know the quadratic equation. Hopefully you've all used it. But there is another way of doing this. So the other way of doing this is because we didn't know final velocity, we picked this equation. But what if we said, well, what if we found final velocity? So if we use this equation, we can solve for the final velocity. And we find out that it's a negative, because it's going down 29.48 meters per second. Once we know that, then we can simply use velocity finals acceleration times time and we can solve for time to figure out how long Ross has to move. And he actually has 2.1 seconds. So he actually has a decent amount of time to move. Um, so both of these solutions will give you the th same thing. Uh, the quadratic equation will give you two solutions. One will be a positive, one will be a negative. Since we're talking about time, we're only going to choose the positive one. So this baseball play. If we'd been in class, we would have done an activity, um, and that activity would have shown you that things moving through the air have different things going on in two different directions. So this is only for things that are in the air, and you know, there's no air resistance. So for one, the vertical motion, the vertical motion of the object is the up and down motion of the object. So that's just the motion of it moving up and down. That motion is has an acceleration that is due to gravity and it's negative 9.81 meters per second squared. 
So that is the vertical motion of the object. The horizontal motion of the object, and again, this is for a ball moving through the air. The horizontal motion is the left and the right motion. What's mo moving across? That one is completely different. There is no acceleration, okay? And again, this is only for if there is no air resistance. If there is no air resistance, the horizontal left and right motion has no acceleration. And that means that the velocity is constant. This is going to be key when you're going through that baseball play. So please take that to note. And when you're working on the baseball play, make sure you keep track of that. So for now, um, go ahead and work on that baseball play first and then try the acceleration homework. Again, as always, if you have questions, please feel free to email me and um, I'll try and get back to you. Thanks.